Welcome back to The Sim. In this one, we want to go through how to use the LVARs with the CRJ. I'm gonna try to keep this one simple so it doesn't go too long. It's more for how do I use the LVARs? How do I go about it? We'll jump in and we'll get started. Now that we've jumped inside, you need to be on either the alpha or beta channel. So in your application settings, expert, you need to be on beta or alpha. It's at least dot seven for the Elvar bridge to work. With dot 12, there was updates to the Elvar bridge and there was some stuff to do with the fly-by-wire A320. If you haven't seen the video on installing and working with the Elvar bridge, watch that video first. Anything you see in this will be reflective of this version. Working with Elvar data is simple, but I like to use a couple of features. One of them is we always talk about the event monitor. By the way, you can undock it, so I'm going to pop it out. You don't necessarily need this uh, open when working with the LVARs because the LVARs going to be found easier via the data monitor. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to pop that out, and I'm going to bring the data monitor into play. So you can add individual datas. So you can go searching for LVARs and then one by one add something if you're looking. That also helps with searching if you're trying to find it, you can search for it. However, what you can do is click on the add LVAR button. And as soon as you do this, it is going to ramp in all of the LVARs. You'll notice this kind of works like the event monitor. As LVARs change, things that are visible in your list. So unlike the event monitor, which does like everything, this is doing what is visible in this list. So we're going to hit the trash can to delete our uh, kind of log of it. Right away, this one is going to bother us forever. It's some type of counter. Um, it's counting seconds, obviously. So one of the ways to easily find noisy variables that you want to clear out if i click on the last change header i can sort by oldest to newest that last had a change so obviously this one is counting up so i'm going to clear this from my filter and i'm going to hit the trash can again so now we've cleared out we've now got our first element working let's go ahead go up top off the bat, I want to obviously map the battery. And so if I came into the sim and I moved the battery, right, we would have seen a whole bunch of LVARs change. And of course, our master caution and master warning are going like crazy. Uh, so let's just go ahead and clear those out. We found master electrical battery. And if I just drag this over, make it a little bit more visible. We've got electrical battery master set to one. We're now going to add event. When it's switched on, we're going to change data value. And now I'm going to use that search box and I'm going to go ASCRJ underscore elect. And right away, it sorts all those electricals, right? Makes it easier to find stuff and there's battery master and its current state is obviously a one because it's on so when we switch it on we want a one we're going to click ok now when we switch it off add action change data value battery master we want to set it to zero so now when we turn it on obviously it goes on turn it off it goes off Turn it on, it goes on. That's pretty much it. We've got our taxi light as well, and we can see our taxi light uh, toggling on and off. It all is very simple to do. With the parking brake, it was just searching for the parking brake. That was all we wanted to cover, just really quick on how to easily identify and play with things in the sim like right here the electric apu generator we can see the elvar and then when we want to add that onto a switch 
we just simply have to uh, click on it, add action, change data value, and then we can go ahead and we can search for, you know, elect APU gen. Thanks again for watching. If you have any other questions or comments, as always, uh, drop them in the Discord. Have a great day.